You're tuned into the Trap House Rocks show. Eventlevel.com. Join eventlevel.com. It's bmradio.com. Join the mayhem. M-M-E radio.com. Making money. Hatchetradio.com. We support music.com. Miss LP. Management Trap House Radio. NYCS Radio.com. Nice Radio. Bad Ink Radio, Bad Ink, ENT, Radio.com. Blockster In the Republic Network. Hey yo, man, hold the fuck up, man. What the fuck is guapin', man? It's your motherfucking nigga Double O, man. Better known as J Motherfucking Hood, man. Represent that ODG movement and all that. And right now, I'm chillin', man. Coolin' out, man. Trap House Rocks Radio with my homegirl, Miss LB. Hey yo, throw some exclusive on L. Leg out. Yes, indeed. It's the Mix King, Ron G. And you're tuned into Trap House Rocks Radio with Miss LB and Z Nipstar. You heard? Yo, what up? It's your boy, Me Melly, man. We in the Trap House. You already know how we doing it, man. We stay in the motherfucking Trap House, doing we do. Giving y'all the hottest music on the streets right now. Let's get it. We already know what time it is. It's your boy, Mass Pike Miles, and right now you tuned in. To the number one trap house in the world. Trap house. Let's go. All right. It's your boy Project Pat up in this thing. Trap house. Y'all know how we get down. You'll never be a G. Ta-ta. Mmm, daddy, yes. Come over here so I can put this hot pussy on that dick, daddy. So I can sit on that fat dick, dick. Shout out to Miss LB. Shout out to the trap house. Visit me, Roxy Reynolds, at Roxy Reynolds on Twitter. Mwah. Trap House Rocks, eventlevel.com, holding it down for the streets and all the independents. You know what I'm saying? All that independent fire. You know what I mean? Not all that major bull crap. <laughs> Yo, what up? This your boy Fitch Girls representing Nappy Roots. And right now you live in the trap house. Let's go. Go. What up? What up? What up? It's your boy S Street the Ghost LOX B Block. Right now I'm trapping in the trap house. You know what I'm saying? You wanna hear what's going down? You wanna hear the high interviews? You wanna hear the hot songs? You wanna hear what's popping in the street? Hit the trap house up. Ghost love the trap house. Big shout out to all my folks in the trap house. Salute B Block. Block. Yes, 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 you already know what it is. We are back up in the building, Trap House Rocks Radio. Two very special guests just walked in the building. Flyboy Pat and the big homie Blue. You already know what's happening. And now for yeah, our yeah, feature yeah. presentation. Now, one thing, you know, we had Blue Da Vinci here almost three years ago. You know what I'm saying? And I've watched you do so much shit since those three years have went by. Uh, the movie's right. crazy. Everything's crazy. And then we need to let the people know who Flyboy Pat is. You know what I mean? Everybody knows who hey, Blue Da Vinci is. Let's, let's let them know if they don't know who Flyboy Pat is. Yo, yeah, Flyboy. Go ahead, bro. Pop. You get it, you get it. <laughs> hey, man, y'all know that's my son right there. You know what I'm saying? We like Baby and Wayne right now. You know what I'm saying? That's Flyboy Pat. That's him. He just going in, man. He just doing a thousand songs a day and, and just going in. So right now, you know, he he up to bat. He is on a lot of <clears throat> big, big records, okay, um, for the people who don't know. Uh, let's let them know uh, the track that they just heard. Let them know about that track, the video, everything. Who's on it? Little homie for the radio version, and y'all can tell the other version. Go, go ahead, P. Hey, well, you already know the little nigga. He was sitting on female for a minute. You know, ain't nobody know really what I was working on. You know, I have still cooking some this spice, the pot boiling and stuff. Blue jumped on it. He was like, "Yeah, we got to take off with this one." He got Jim Jones on it. Cat one. We went up to New York and shot the video, and we shot some of the video down here in Atlanta. So shout out to that video. Y'all go check that out on World Star. The, the video is ridiculous. I mean, when, you know, any BMF or Swish Gang, whoever, they, they always do the videos really big. It's like 100,000 motherfuckers roll with y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. like, you already know. We are home for me. Mr. Yo. Yo. 
big homie what bro, what was popping, what's cracked, and what's really happening, man. I, I, I'm not want to get this shit fucked up, man. But you telling me this your son right now? This your son? <laughs> yeah, we like Baby and Wayne out here right now. You know what I'm saying? We just out here making moves, man. We connected man. like father, like son. You know what I'm saying? My well, man I, sit there, man. He, he look, he work all day. He, he a workhorse, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to give him this real game that then been passed down to me by the big homies, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how we rocking right now. Listen, man, what I want to say, because Miss LB said, you know, we had you here like three years. We seen the, the, the constant climb. Like, what the fuck I really want to say is we seen a homie come back home and get right? back where he left. You know what I'm saying? Get get back where he left off and, and take it above and beyond that. And I'm loving to see that. You heard me? Yeah, man. You know, like I like I'm always saying when I'm doing my interviews and all that right now is, you know, this 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 right now this BMF thing is about brothers moving forward. You know what I'm saying? So we can't be sitting there and being stuck on what happened in the past and all the prison time and all the negative energy. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of buried it. You know what I'm saying? And, and just moving forward. It's all about the music. It's all about the artists. It's all about the artistry right now and the craft that we love. You know what I'm saying? We didn't embrace this. This is what we doing. I mean, we doing it to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? So we, we supposed to see some progression from Blue. You know, some maturity from Blue going, you know, going to do the big, coming back home and just trying to stay on a positive note and just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? We just on the grind. That's it. From Calico, Tobias, me, Pat. I'm talking about David Gray, uh, Marquis, the, the whole squad. It's just uh, working, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and whoever Cuzzo breaks... Fly. We got to shout out Cuzzo Fly. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Cuzzo Fly been down here running crazy down here in the A, you know what I'm saying? He got the record piped up with, with Cap One right now, so, you know what I'm saying? It's, boy, it's just a good thing. As long as we doing positive stuff, man, That, that that's what I'm standing behind right now, you know? I want to say listen, something. Let, let me say something, Zeno. This is off the subject just a little bit, but later on in the show, we're going to recap Summer Jam. But what I do want to say is... I watched Summer Jam for like six hours last night on the live stream on Hot 97. And I was saying, you know, Blue, Da Vinci, and the whole clique, they need to be up there fucking performing. That's who I right, wanted to see right. at the Summer You feel me? Right, <laughs> you know, right. right. Yeah, you know, that would have been a good time. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Um, LB, it's all about timing. You know what I'm it saying? Is. So like... You know, right now, I ain't, I ain't sweating it. I ain't worried about it. Because soon as the world, you know, it's coming to fruition right now. As soon as the world get a chance to really open up and see what we got going on the and see all the talent over here, then then, then we, we'll be up there on that summer jam and stage. Let me tell you, the reason I really said that was because, you know, uh, I think it was last month, I came out and I saw you on the 2 Chains tour, you and Cap One and everybody. And, and the, right. the performance was crazy. You know how when a bunch of people come to see Two Chains, you don't you get mixed reactions. You don't know how the crowd's going to react, and the crowd was just jumping. You know what I'm saying? When right. you and Captain right, One right. and all of y'all, because of everybody was out there. Uh, shout out to Smooth too. Uh, but uh, you know, it, it, the crowd is crazy about y'all. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's that energy. It's yeah. that energy we bring. It's that energy we bring, and then here comes Flyboy Pat flying out the back with the no shirt, tattoos everywhere, just screaming, going crazy, jumping on top of the speakers and all that. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the performance, we always rip it down. Like people don't even know on the records for real, but they don't have no choice but to, but to just feed off the energy that that we that we give off when we up there. You know. Yes, indeed, and the and the fucking records is big, homie. You know what I'm saying? What I what I really respect is this. Like, first of all, I got to shout out Cap because I missed the show with Cap One, and we kind of been, you know, connected throughout the years. We know a couple of the same people, seen the brother here and there, but I hadn't seen him in about seven years. And knowing, you know, this industry is is big. People think it's small, but it's really big because you got independent niggas that really be out here moving. So right to see, you know what I mean. Everybody's response to you right now, a nigga that I was turned, a nigga that I was already on from from the start. But to see niggas like they excited about y'all niggas like y'all brand new artists. You know what I mean? Despite you know what I mean, like the new brother coming pack coming killing shit and being so ready for the game. But they looking at y'all niggas like new artists. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and they got that excitement like. You know what I mean, yo? This that shit that I want to hear. This that shit I want to play. And um, you know, right, shout right. 
Shout out to Cat, man. I used to tell everybody, like, yo, that nigga is lyrically, he was one of the dopest niggas ever. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a lot of people don't catch on. Are you talking about the homie Auto Words? I call that nigga Cap One Auto Words. That nigga <laughs> knows every word in the English yes, language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two damn dictionary. Yes, sir. Two damn. Um, <laughs> that nigga it, be going it, crazy. Yeah, and it, it's so crazy, man, to see all y'all brothers, like, connect and really moving on that BMF shit. Like, we, the, the game needed that because, you know, the dream, despite, you know, the street shit and all that other shit, but the dream was to be, for y'all niggas to be on in this music shit. So to carry that legacy, fucking be moving the way y'all moving right now is fucking incredible, my nigga. I salute each and every one of y'all niggas, man, and keep pushing, man. I'm going to see you at the top. Man, I appreciate that, bro. I, that, that's what I do it for, for shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Once once people see how we can really come together and all be able to get money to, together, that industry will be just such a better place. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Especially with real niggas doing it because I don't give a fuck what these niggas say about gimmicks and what's trendy. Niggas follow real motherfuckers when they see them. You know what I mean? Period. So already knowing what that brand stood for and for y'all niggas to be repping the way y'all repping right now, they gonna follow suit. They got no choice, man. Real shit. We, we, yeah. we also have to shout out, you know, we've had a few uh, BMF Swish Gang artists up in the chat house. We have to shout out Tobias Tate and Calico Jones. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The whole, you know what I'm saying? The whole clique. Um, everybody's got big records out. Right. Yeah, every, everybody pushing quality music right now, you know what I'm saying? We just on that professional level shit right now. So, you know, people might be expecting a garage band or something, but, you know, we just really, we really working, man. We working hard. Like, Pat got so many records over there. Hey, yo, Pat, I sent them, um, I sent them drunk texting too, because it was on the email. So she's going to probably, you know, she's going to be playing it. And she got her hands on it. Yes, yes. Um, what I want to do, if y'all can stay on here with us just a little bit longer, I want to let the people hear what you want to do. Um, it's, the, it's the Cap One, I mean, um, Cuz of Fly, um, Cap One, and Flyboy Pat record. We want to let the people hear that. If y'all will hang on the line Big. with us, and we'll take a break, and we'll be right back with y'all. Trap. All right, baby. Bro, nigga, what you want to do? Because I do it, too. Yeah. I do it, too. I do already know what it is. We are back up in the building with Flyboy Pat and Blue Da Vinci. You know. BMF Swish Gang is in the building. Flyboy Pat. Swish. Now, are you working what, uh, on a solo project right now? Yeah, I'm working on a solo project. I really want to do a double disc. A double disc mixtape. I don't know. I got so many songs to choose. So I, don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. What's What's a day like with Flyboy Pat? The, the ladies want to know. Uh, they don't want to know that. They gotta and they want to know out. how many tattoos you have, if you can count them. My whole body done. My thigh. I'm trying to find a female to connect my, my thighs and my, 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 my side, my hips. But I got to find a female tattoo. Oh, I can't have no man that close up there. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. I might, I, might, I, might, I might do something on Instagram for the female. Just take some draws, pictures, and get on my Calvin Klein model shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that how, how, how I be walking around the studio feeling. I be feeling like Billy D. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I was, my, my question was going to be like, what, what make Flyboy pass so fly, man? And you telling it right now. You just, you know. Hey, I really, I really just, I, like, I ain't got to use all the Gucci, the Louis and stuff. I ain't really got to use all this. You, you <laughs> take me to pay list, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it do what it do, like Ray Charles. Say that. Say that. That's, that's, that's a nigga with style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga with style don't need you no motherfucking lady. You gotta be confident in yourself before you can yeah. step Say on that, up there. Yeah. Flyboy Pat, tell us about the block party this Saturday. What's going on with that? Oh, I do, I do these crazy house parties. They're like Project X parties, but I do Ooh. it in the hood. <laughs> but in the hood, and they be just real crazy, and a lot of people just been rocking with, with the movement ever since. And all the one. drinks are free, right? If you pay $5? Yeah. Hey, Everything's look. free. Hey, Z, I went to one. See that. Tell you, listen, Flyboy better tell you, I just flew in. You know, I was coming from the cold to the hot. I wasn't even ready for that shit, nigga. It was, it was so hot in that bitch. And motherfuckers <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> leave. Look, they wouldn't leave that motherfucker. 
How many strippers I was in there? Man, listen, I mean, I think a nigga even passed out or something. He still didn't even want to leave. Like, niggas don't He's leave that bitch. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, how many stripper poles was in there? Was it like two or three? Two. <laughs> Yo, listen. With them parties, you you tell me how my life is. I was female, and you tell me if I got strip clothes in my house, you know what time it is. Say that. You say already that. know what time it is. Um, hey, listen. Or some G. Or some G shit. I pray y'all niggas can keep that shit banging, man, and keep that shit safe, man. You feel me? Oh, you, this, you, this one's gonna be crazy. I, ain't, yeah. I probably ain't had one since the last time you've been there. That yeah, is this yeah. Saturday. That is this Saturday, Jones Avenue, ATL. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, okay. on the west side of Atlanta. Now, now, Blue Da Vinci. Yes, ma'am. DJ Drama, <laughs> Angels and Demons, talk to me, man. Well, this Angels and Demons project is hosted by DJ Drama, so he will be directing this joint. And you know, you got, you know, you got your angels and demons on your shoulders every day. You know, you got decisions you got to make every day. You got thoughts running through your head every day. And the whole thing about it is, you know, w which one is you listening to? You know what I'm saying? So this is just me dealing with my angels and demons and these different records or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got features from people like Young Buck. Um, that's Fresh Home, basically. You know, you got uh, Flyboy Pat. He on that joint. Calico on that joint. Uh, Rick Ross is on this joint. Um... I got a few people. Uh, Cap 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 One is on his joint. Would you say Pat? I said they're crazy with Ross on it. Oh yeah, Jim Jim Jones is on the joint. So you know, I just got a few different a few different sounds on there. Yaki is on his joint. Um, but you know, I'm just riding out. This the other blue. You know, since I've been home, I've been doing the relaxed, chilled out music. You know, what I'm saying slow flow. This one right here, I'm killing them. Like, I'm rapping, like, and it ain't no whole bunch of playing. Like, we on this whole project, I'm rapping. We can't yeah, wait. I'm rapping. You know, then we'll have to update Blue Da Vinci's hour block here at the Trap House. You know what I mean? When we get well, those. Uh, I need to update that anyway. I got a bunch of records that I could just throw you anyway that you could just put in the mix for me. Because oh, yeah. you know how you, I love that hour you be doing. You know, it'd be sounding gravy. I'm going to send you a whole, I'm going to send you a data disc. Okay. So you'll have just a whole, all the old stuff all the way up into the new. You know what I'm saying? We Get you about that. 40, yes. 50 records over there. Now, I have yeah. a question about features. I, this is a crazy question because, you know, somebody was asking me uh, even about this question. Will you do a feature with just anybody and any kind of record if the money is right? No, 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 no. It's a bunch of records that I turned down for features because I don't understand the music <laughs> or I'm not into it. You know, I don't want to be a part of nothing right. that I'm not into. So right. all of the features... All of the features I did at some point in time, the, the record had caught me for some reason or another. Whether it was just me adding to it to make it that that better, you know what I'm saying, or if it was, I just heard it and I just liked the record, you know what I'm saying. I get feature opportunities all the time for three, five thousand, seventy five hundred, or whatever it may be. That once I, you know, I always tell people well, send the record and then we could chop it up, you know what I'm saying. So once they send it, send the record, I might put it in the Mosaic or something and ride around with it for a minute. And then, you know, sometimes the streets just got to see what that shit sound like. That's when I fly it out the window. You know what I'm saying? And then we see what the streets think about it. You know what I'm saying? But other times, you know what I'm saying, I be locking in with cats. You know, it's a lot of people out there that's making good music that, you know, that the masses don't know of. And I'm not, I'm an interceptor of that. You know, I, I can find them niggas that's good out there that people don't really know about and, and had a chance to work with them, you know? What do you think? I asked Yuck Mouth this same question about the regime mob, you know what I'm saying, and the name, the regime mob. With the BMF Swish Gang, do people, artists, whoever, claim that they're BMF Swish Gang and... Oh, Lord. <laughs> and they're not... Oh, yeah, all day. All day. All day and night. You know what I'm saying? I, I go through that so much, you know what I'm saying? It, hey, it, but you know, I, I ain't uh -huh. in the business of chasing everybody down. If I <laughs> if I spend my time worrying about that, LB, I wouldn't have time to do nothing else. I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, man. I ain't even blue, and I got to hear this shit. <laughs> you know, I'm to, I don't, yeah, I'm you know how that be. Who is this nigga? Now, I heard about this party June 21st in Detroit, uh, Meach Day. Um, right. I guess Cheddar. First day of summer. First day of summer. Meach birthday. That's the official BMF holiday. 
Okay, June 21st. So, so uh, I guess all of you guys will be out there for that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be in Detroit June 21st, turning it up one time for Big Meech. You know what I'm saying? And all, all of the proceeds, like 100% of them, will be going to whatever he wanted to go to. You know what I'm saying? If he say slam it all on my books, it goes on his books. If he say spread it out between these people, it gets spread out between them people or whatever. So, you know, this day and this party is all about him. That's a lot of real shit. Now, yeah. all you people out there listening, you can follow. I know you saw Flyboy's little fly self up on the flyer that we've been posting out all day. You can follow him on Instagram and Twitter at Flyboy Pat. Just spell it out. And of course, you already know yep. to follow Blue Da Vinci on. Um, oh yeah, and that's and that's Blue Da Vinci. B L E U D A I N C I for everybody that just did that. Yeah, and you so, can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram be piped up, but probably Pat Instagram be super piped up. Like he shit <laughs> red on the Instagram. I don't know all kinds of shit he doing on his Instagram. Bowling, like he he he, he went bowling tournaments. He out rapping people. He going crazy on his Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I can see, I can see Flyboy Pat every hour on million. the hour. I can see him making millions. Or uh, I know one okay. thing, man. That now you know I'm an up top nigga. If that record right now, that Cuzzo Fly shit right now, if that shit is played in New York City by any fucking major DJ, man, it's a rap, dog. That shit, it's and, a rap. And, a you know, the rap. other and the other songs, just like the Lil Homie radio song, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dip yeah. Downs and Blue and, you know, Cap and Flyboy Pat. So that no one's question. ridiculous, too. No question. You're just trying to get it to these DJs. You know, we've Man, had a good shit. response from most of these songs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Lots of DJs are fucking with it. And that's the main thing, getting these DJs to fuck with it. Or they, right. Mm-hmm. They just need to. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to somebody gotta break that shit up top. And niggas will be... I'm, I'm talking from, you know what I mean? A listener's perspective, a disc jockey's perspective, all that shit. Like... If somebody don't break that shit, they're going to be mad as hell when somebody else get their hands on that <laughs> junk. They're going to be mad as hell. That's, right, why so. I, that's why I got the most dope fucking records of any uh, fucking station because I got uh, all the good shit. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just, it's so fucked up, but radio and, and this hip hop sh- community is still like that. Like, even though Atlanta is so fucking strong, like, niggas could be popping down south forever. But all it takes is one nigga to play that shit in New York, man. That shit is that shit is a rap, man. It's a rap. Man. You know, when we're doing the live show, people are tweeting us and uh, inboxing us everywhere. I just had an inbox come in for Flyboy Pat from Scrib the Prodigy. He says to tell you what's up. He said he went to school with you. Hey, what's poppin', bro? Yeah. So he's, if you're listening, man, hit me up, man. I'm still all, gonna respond back. They're all tuned in right now. They're all tuned in right now. So um, yeah, shout out to them. Um, so what now, Blue Da Vinci? When can we expect this Angels and Demons? Uh, it's gonna be real soon. You know, I don't like to be putting no dates on stuff because things always pop up, and then I let my people down. They be expecting it on one day, and then it don't come out. They be mad at me, but it's coming sooner than everybody expects. I, I tell you that. That's that's for certain. What you know that? ad- what advice can you give these up and coming artists? I know, you know. They want your knowledge on this, man. What what can you tell them? The most important thing to tell them. I mean, just stay working. You know, that's the most important thing because without the work ethic or without the work being put in, you have no product. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that's my whole thing. Like whether it's happening now for people or, or you know, it's gonna be happening in the future, you gotta stay working. And then you got to stay working. Then you then you got those that think that somebody's just gonna hand something to them. I know you're out there. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, you, you know, every once in a while, something get handed to them, but it was still some work getting got that got put in for them to have. You know what I'm saying? The handout. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like you know, if you work hard and you make one record and then you ain't really had to do nothing, but A and R heard it and wanted to bring you on to a label, you know, you put that work in. You know what I'm saying? You might not have had to put in as much work as others have in the past, but you know, you definitely put some work in to get that notoriety. You know what I'm saying? So I just tell all the brothers out there, man, just stay working, stay focused, stay humble. You know what I'm saying? It'll happen for all of us. You know what I'm saying? When, when the time when the time permits, when it's time for you to go, you're going to go. Word out. Well. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm over here in Atlanta, and I'm watching niggas go all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I see it, but you know, when that one record come and somebody got that catch, then boom, it just catch. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's real shit, but y'all motherfuckers got that quality music. Y'all got that motherfucking unity. That's incredible. That you know what I mean. I, I just, I just want to salute y'all on that and, and keep it fucking pushing, man. Keep it banging because y'all niggas man, look like y'all. Y'all look like y'all enjoying yourself. Y'all look like y'all loving life and y'all giving niggas quality music, yeah. man. We couldn't ask for nothing more. Real shit. That's right. Now the track right. called the track called what type? Who did you say was on that track? That that's Flyway yeah, Pat single. And that's featuring uh, the Yeah. How do you spell it? Who it's featuring? Kuyaki K K I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do this while we're on here. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna give the producer the track uh, right now. But um, so man, like he said, the movement's crazy. You already know we're gonna keep the music in rotation here um, at the Trap House. Follow these guys. And now that I got you, listen, LB, now that I got your, your email, like, logged into my joint, my personal joint, I'm going to just be sending you shit that Send you can play, it. you know what I'm saying, so you can have your shit stockpiled. Because you've been, you been fucking with you been fucking with me, I, you know what I'm saying, I watch everything, I can see everything, so I know you ain't nobody new that's jumping around, like, you real loyal to, to this situation all the way around you know what I'm saying and I mm -hmm. see that so I'm gonna definitely be matter of fact I'm gonna send you this Ross record in a minute when I get off this phone I'm gonna send you the Rick Ross and thing. when these tracks come in you already know we're gonna update that hour block you know what I mean and we're gonna throw uh, the Flyboy yeah, yeah. in there you know throw the Flyboy pad in there we're gonna throw everything in there and, and get that awesome. popping as early as tomorrow so y'all see that all on right. Twitter you see me tweeting out um, our block, BMF, Switch Game, Blue Da Vinci, Flyboy Pat, and the rest of their clique. You know, Sam, tune in. Um, damn, it's been our pleasure. I know that you guys, or I know Blue has to go to a studio session uh, right here shortly, so we're going to let you guys up out of here. Send me that music. All right. Y'all come through the track. All right, I got anytime. it, man. Anytime. Hey, so come. check it out, man. Every Everybody get ready for this. DJ Drama Presents Gangsta Grill number 10,000. You could, you know, he stay putting the gangster grill out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Blue Da Vinci ain't, ain't just a demon. You know what I'm saying? It, it's coming soon. Is it number ten thousand? Nah, nah. You know that was from the next <laughs> on. It might be about seven hundred thirty though, for real. Mm -hmm. I ain't no telling what number it is. That nigga got so many gangster grills out there. Probably on a million. Hey, man, I, <laughs> I don't need to know it. All right, man, y'all stay up, and I appreciate y'all's time. Thank you so much, Flyboy Pat, Blue Da Vinci, for coming through Trap House Rocks tonight. See y'all. All right, Blue. Yeah.